Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China's chip industry is booming, with export volume and value continuing to grow. From 3.1 billion yuan in exports per day to a surge in domestic production, Chinese chips are gradually occupying the global market. This trend not only shows the leap in China's technological strength, but also arouses concerns from Western countries such as the United States. Recently, China Customs released a set of jaw-dropping data. In July 2024, China's total chip exports reached 98.56 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 26.77%. This means that on average, China exports 3.2 billion yuan worth of chips overseas every day. This number is already amazing enough, but what is even more amazing is that if we extend the time to January to July 2024, the total export value has reached 640.91 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 25.8%. In other words, in the past seven months, China has been delivering 3.1 billion yuan worth of chips to the global market every day. Behind this crazy growth, it reflects the rise of China's chip industry. You know, just a few years ago, China was the world's largest importer of chips. At that time, 70% of the world's chips flowed to the Chinese market, which not only consumed a large amount of foreign exchange reserves, but also made chip companies in Western countries such as the United States make a lot of money. However, the situation changes. Starting in 2021, the United States and its allies have imposed a series of severe sanctions on China's chip industry. Huawei and SMIC, two leading companies in China's chip design and manufacturing fields, were the first to bear the brunt and suffered the most stringent blockade. However, these sanctions not only did not stifle China's chip industry, but instead inspired the fighting spirit of China's science and technology community and gave birth to a huge domestic chip industry chain. China's chip industry has begun to grow astonishingly. In 2022, China's chip production reached 324.19 billion. By 2023, this number has increased to 351.4 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 6.9%. In the first half of 2024, production soared to 207.11 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 28.9%. At this rate, the annual chip production in 2024 will surely set a new record. This growth rate has made many American media unable to sit still. They all cried out, the rise of China's chip industry is destroying their rice bowls. Even Bill Gates, a well-known American capital tycoon, couldn't help but sigh that in the past, Western countries could easily make huge fortunes from the Chinese market through chips, and Americans got a lot of easy and profitable jobs. But now, with the rise of China's chip industry, this good day may be gone forever. Of course, the chips exported by China are mainly low-end and mid-end products. In the field of high-end chips, Western countries still dominate. However, this situation may not last too long. Take Huawei as an example. Despite facing many blockades, they still successfully broke through the manufacturing difficulties of 7 nanometer chips in 2023 and are now working hard to overcome 5 nanometer chip technology. Once Huawei makes a breakthrough in this field, coupled with China's efficient and excellent industrial chain supporting facilities, it is only a matter of time before it enters the global high-end chip market. Looking back at history, it is not difficult for us to find a rule. Whenever China makes a breakthrough in a core technology field and promotes it, the price of products in this field will drop sharply and eventually become cabbage price. The chip industry will be no exception. Although China currently exports mainly low-end and mid-range chips, with the continuous advancement of technology, it is only a matter of time before Chinese companies enter the high-end chip market. This change will have a profound impact on the global chip industry landscape. 
In the past, Western countries could easily make huge profits from the Chinese market by relying on their monopoly in the chip field. But now, with the rise of China's chip industry, this situation is undergoing a fundamental change. The good days of Western countries making money lying down will probably end soon. It is worth noting that the rise of China's chip industry is not accidental. It is the result of years of hard work by the Chinese government and enterprises. After realizing the importance of the chip industry to national security and economic development, the Chinese government has introduced a series of policies to support the development of the chip industry. From financial support to talent training, to market protection, the Chinese government has done everything it can. At the same time, Chinese companies are also constantly increasing their investment in research and development and striving to catch up with the international advanced level. Huawei is a typical example. Faced with the blockade of the United States, Huawei not only did not admit defeat, but increased its investment in chip technology research and development. As a result, in just a few years, Huawei has achieved a leap from 14 nanometers to 7 nanometers and is now making an impact on 5 nanometers. This effort is not only reflected in the field of high-end chips, but also in the mid- and low-end chip market, where Chinese companies have performed well. It is these mid- and low-end chips that constitute the main force of China's chip exports and drive the rapid growth of exports. Although the value of a single chip may not be high, it is large in quantity, and the accumulated total amount is quite considerable. Of course, the rise of China's chip industry also faces many challenges. The first is the technical barriers. Although China has made significant progress in the field of mid- and low-end chips, it still lags behind the international leading level in the most cutting-edge chip technology. The second is the shortage of talents. The chip industry is a typical technology-intensive industry that requires a large number of high-quality talents, which is what China is currently relatively lacking. In addition, the international competitive environment is not optimistic. The suppression of China's chip industry by Western countries such as the United States continues, which will undoubtedly bring certain resistance to the development of China's chip industry. However, from the current situation, these suppressions have not stopped the development of China's chip industry, but have stimulated China to accelerate its pace of independent innovation to some extent. In general, China's chip industry is in a stage of rapid development. From export data to production growth, the Chinese chip industry is booming. Although there is still a lot of room for catching up in the high-end field, Chinese companies are working hard to narrow the gap with the international advanced level. It can be foreseen that with the continuous development of China's chip industry, the global chip industry landscape will undergo profound changes. As China's chip industry continues to grow, I believe there will be more exciting news in the future. We will continue to pay attention to the development of this field and witness the continuous improvement of China's scientific and technological strength. After all, the development of the chip industry is not only related to national security and economic development, but also an important battlefield for China in the global scientific and technological competition. Let us look forward to greater breakthroughs in China's chip industry. What do you think of this? Welcome to leave a message in the comment area for discussion.